एस पी फाइव हंड्रेड डेली टाइम फ्रेम दिस कैन बी योर डबल टॉप एंड इफ दिस हाई सर्वाइव देन मार्केट क्रैश विल स्टार्ट वेन प्राइस विल ब्रेक बिलो थर्टी एट हंड्रेड बिकॉज टू कन्फर्म डबल टॉप वी नीड ब्रेकआउट बिलो थर्टी एट हंड्रेड but long term trend is still bearish and this possible double top is near 50% retracement of this complete bearish trend but majority of sl of all the hedge fund who are selling sp500 their sl 4311 so this can be maximum target a price goes up but you should manage your risk up to this level and this is key horizontal resistance but between this area from 4155 to 4311 is your sale zone and one thing i always repeat सेंट्रल बैंक रेट कार्ड इज साइन ऑफ पैनिक दे दी ट्वेंटी फाइव बेसिस पॉइंट टू टाइम्स इवन बैंक कलेप्स लाइक सिलीकॉन वैली एंड बैंक कलेप्स आर नॉट स्टॉपिंग बिकॉज न्यू बैंक लाइक पैक वेस्ट नाउ दे आर कलेप्सिंग एंड फेड इज स्टिल हाइकिंग रेट so according to fed monetary policy maybe he think that us economy is still strong and if economy is not strong then why he is doing a rate hike and last week fomc meeting if you study everything carefully then he have given signal for rate pause but there is no clear answer for rate pause and there is more than one month for next fomc meeting and do not think like kids that you will get clear information for next fomc meeting more than one month in advance clarity always come one week before fomc decision so until we get information about these two things we will not know that what will be timing of rate pause because blackout period has been ended and bullard had said one more new thing that monetary policy will not create recession a shock will create recession and they are center planner we do not know what will be that shock they are still saying about soft landing mild recession but they are not giving any information what will be length of rate pause and this week cpi news already explained in detail in gold video so this news can change monetary policy decision in next fomc meeting because all of these thing together first of all debt ceiling and most important thing 5% interest rate and that qt that's mean they are decreasing size of balance sheet these two thing together are bearish for sp500 and you can see it is sideways neither it is going up nor down just sideways so these three level 4155 4311 3, 3, and 3800 these three are your key level and this area is your sale zone and your target is 3505 and when rate hike end 
रेड कट स्टार डेट्स मीन सेंटर वैंक पैनिक देन दीज थिंग विल क्रैश वर्टिकली नेस्डेक डेली टाइम फ्रेम दिस एरिया इज योर की रजिस्टेंस एंड दिस कैन बी योर राइजिंग वे चार पैटर्न इफ इट रिटेस अपर ट्रेंड लाइन एंड दिस रजिस्टेंस एट द सेम टाइम देन यू कैन सेल एंड डाउजोन इंडस्ट्रियल एवरेज डेली टाइम फ्रेम प्राइज मेक ए फेक ब्रेकआउट अब ऑफ दिस ट्रेंड लाइन and this is same like we discussed in last video the possibility of fake breakout it goes up but came down with multiple red candlestick so this trend line is your key dynamic resistance back to sp500 follow correlation with this chart 